So I got this lens for $80 on Amazon and did an unboxing and review which can be seen here. This lens is a 500mm f8 and the build quality pretty much reflects the price. I didn't practice or set up for the eclipse until the night before, which is when I took this solar film that I got for my telescope and cut it down to use on this lens. This is a step up ring and it fits right onto the end of this lens like so. This is a step down ring and it fits right onto the other ring like this. I used one of these lenses as a template to cut out this circle here. It fits right inside the first ring and is sandwiched by the second one and we have a totally legitimate looking filter. This will allow me to easily remove and replace the filter during the eclipse. We started off the day by going fishing on Lake Kiwi. We caught no fish, but I did get this snazzy video with my waterproof phone. We ended up finding this great little beach to watch the eclipse from, and later on, many others found it too. So this is my setup with the giant lens on the giant tripod with the solar filter in tow. I took a series of images leading up to the totality, but for the finale, I switched to video and started filming. The sun kept moving around because apparently that's what it does, so I had to keep reframing my shot. And right at the last second, I took the solar filter off, and this was the result. So close! It's there. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that! Oh my gosh! That is crazy! My flash comes look on! Look at the sun, Heather, don't look at the camera! We're in the middle of the total eclipse. It's a, like a sunset in all directions. Look at all the colors. I don't know if we can see that at all, let me see. There's an airplane over there, imagine what that's like from the airplane. This is what it looks like on the camera. How cool is that? 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Glasses on. Here it goes. Five. I can see. I can see the one dot. Here it comes back. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh. Look at, look at the just lighting too. As you can tell, it was quite the hit and it looked absolutely incredible. I also filmed with my GoPro the sun disappearing and reappearing, but I had to turn the camera sideways to get the sun and the ground in the shot. This was my favorite image pulled from the video, but I still prefer the video as it explodes from behind the filter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.